not good at this anymore. Vet check. Food vet Zora. Bar, here we come. A few paints. My beer belly says no. Why do you get all my go? The babes. The babes are just immaculate. <laughs> that light is like, you know, one of those automatic lights where it tenses you. Like, why is it making me do anyway? Oh, fuck. Told you. And every time during the night when I was coming, like, in from the door, now, don't want to talk about it. Um. It was going off and on. Really freaky. I'm the one the UK. Everybody wants to say UK. But look at me. Because most of these first don't fuck with me. I still want to say to me, cool down, down. What's what? It's like, just touch down in London town. That's me. That's me. Love my free bar. Fuck, I literally need a bit with a brush. Like a mop. I need a bit with a mop. From the channel, you also know what. I've just touched down London now. Me right now. Um, but yesterday I just, I don't really want to film much just because, um, our flight was a bit later during the day. It was like 25 past four. Oh my God, my hair is a fucking mess. And by the time we got here, it was like, no one told me. Don't even know who cares about even the travel in here. No, it's like getting here, the flight being so late. Nobody told me how fucking long it is to get from fucking airport to like the centre of London. <sighs> I'm, there was one point I was actually just like, fuck, and I can go back to the airport and get home. Like, I think I had a bus. The bus was like two minutes. I had to get a train, which was like a half an hour. And then I had to get another train, which was like a half an hour. But see, trying to find these trains and these stations. Oh. Oh, no. So, if you're coming to London, no one ever tells you how hard it is. Or maybe they do, but no one fucking told me. And it was really, really hard. And Colm, Colm was ready to be punched in the face but because we got here so late like we got here at like we got in our hotel at like eight o'clock and then because it took us like an hour and a half to get from the airport to like the center but it's not as long like you hang an hour and a half like it's really long well it is fucking long but i kind of once you once you know you're doing what you're doing it's fine but so we just came here yesterday and like just checked out in our room um, we're staying like Chelsea and like Nottingham and things like that, which is like, no matter what, I didn't realize no matter where you're going, you're going to have to get like a sub, like a subway or a taxi or something or like a train. Um, so I didn't research much. I was just like, London, let's go. Didn't really get the concept of the place is fucking crazy, but today we're getting ready. Um, and we're gonna go to Joe's Juice because it's literally around the corner from here. And I just need to live my like influencer life fantasy that I'll probably never have. But I need to go to Joe's Juice and get a coffee. Just to try it. We'll do a taste test together. I'll let you know if it's good coffee or not. Why am I getting off like I'm a barista or something? I think I know what good coffee tastes like or what shit coffee tastes like. Like say when I go like out for food, like I'm not really picky. Like if the food's stinking, like I'll actually probably still eat it because I don't really care. But when it comes to coffee, see if a coffee is disgusting. No. I'm going to get up here and get ready. Also, my lobster drawings. I got these from Everything Five Pound. Everything Five Pound. And I know these are the ones off SOS that, that keep going out of stock. I see Molly Man always wearing these. And I think she done them like, they're like £30. <laughs> I got them for everything, everything Five Pound. And they're fucking brilliant. Comfy as fuck. But we're going to get ready here and we're going to go to Joe's Juice. At the end of the day, we're going to do like all of our tourist kind of things. We're going to see like the London Eye, the London Tower, the Buckingham Palace. And then I would just grab like a bit of lunch or something. Um, I have like a Marvel 4D universe here, which I really want to go do. So I'm going to look into that. And then, I don't know, just, we'll just take you on the day. So I'm going to get ready here. This is the fit for the day. 
just went for wee jeans and this small Dutch t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. Oh, two seconds. But this is the OTT, OTTD. Um, just my wee denim jeans I always wear and this small Dutch t-shirt from Urban. I like curl and that's me wearing new. Come back like three hours later and film. But I'm already. Um, me and Colin just went. Me and Colin just went and done like a bit of shopping. These are my musings, and I forgot to cut, cut them, and they're like really like rubbing against me. So I've sent Colin down to get some of yours. Oh, and I need to get an iron too. So, anyway, so basically the day me and Colin just went to like the London Eye. Um, Buckingham Palace, just the usual touristy shit. Um, and then we went to Oxford Street and done like all the shopping. See, when I went to New York, I swear to you, New York is literally the biggest city in the world, and London is so much busier. Is it just me? Like, has anyone been be like, have you been here before? You'll understand. Like, I don't know, maybe because it's of COVID or something. I don't know, maybe it's if it's because of COVID, but see, like the amount of people, it was actually giving me the fear. Like I walked into Bershka, and we don't have Bershka, obviously we don't have Bershka in Belfast. So I walked in and I was like, oh, I'm actually on a shot of my drop. I walked in and I went, oh my fucking God, I can't do this. And I don't fuck right. It is so busy here. It's not, it's actually a joke. And I'm so itchy using I don't know what it is. Ugh. But tonight, um, me and Colin are gonna go get food. Don't know where we're gonna go yet. I need to get these cut off before I go anywhere. And, we're going to go back to the London Eye because we want to see it at night time because it might be gorgeous. But I'm just wearing this wee suit I got from Primark. Yeah, Primark. It was actually a fucking bargain. It's iron, so Colin's going to go get me an iron. Um, I don't really like no makeup. Like, I kind of need to bring that in. We'll we move on. But I don't know foundation. Anyway. <laughs> Really vlog that much last night. Colin's in the shower. Um, but basically, we actually didn't even get to do much. So we went to go for drinks and all. And I basically ended up doing my first sober Saturday in about nine weeks. Um, not a taste of alcohol touched my mouth. I need to put like tan. Oh, oh fuck. But basically, um. Me and Colin ended up going to Nando's and then like we come to London and then like we don't even try anywhere, we literally just go to fucking Nando's. But I'll go to Nando's wherever I go, like I wanna try it everywhere I go. It was a huge regret. Um it was a fucking her in my rap and I'm one of those people like I'll not even say anything, right? I'll I'll just like I'll just not eat it, I'll just leave it there and just not eat it. But it was literally inside the wrap. Like I tried to put it out. It was stuck in the wrap and then ugh, I had to, I had to give it back and I've never felt more embarrassed in my whole fucking life. And then we went to see the London at night because it's meant to be gorgeous and stuff like that, but it was fucking beautiful. Um, and then I got a girl to take a picture of us. <laughs> it was so blurry. 
and then we ended up getting like three wrong trains home and fuck it by the time we get home like all the bars here, here like all the bars here close at 11 and they're like 12 unless you go into like the night 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 clubs which is like so far away uh yeah mm. but today we're gonna see mama mia and i'm so excited because if you know me you know i fucking love mama mia and i love buddy abba don't get me started about the reunion because I know they're coming here and I'm fucking excited up for the pre-sale already. Um, but yes, I'm going to go and do a bit of fucking bronzer or something on my face because it's so white compared to my neck. But we're going to go and get a Joe and Juice. And I know what I'm ordering all this time because like when I went in yesterday, I was like, do you do such and such? Because like it only said coffees, but I didn't do co like or cold. And I was in the mood for like a cold one. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, do you see vanilla syrup? No, but the juice vanilla milk and it's fucking great. So I'm gonna walk in and be like, Hi, can I get um an ice latte please with vanilla milk? No, you're regular? Yeah. And Kong's just gonna get the sports juice or whatever because he's a fucking weirdo and doesn't like coffee. Like we can't even go on coffee dates because he doesn't like coffee. Like I can't be like, wanna go for a coffee date? No, it's like I get a coffee and he gets a telecoke. Is that is that like is that the X sign coming five years later? Maybe. But yeah, gonna go here and get, well, I'm gonna go and sort myself out. I'm gonna go get a Joe Juice and then sort my hair out too. And I think I'm gonna maybe rent the scooters. Don't know. Probably will. And then we're gonna go back to Oxford Street again and just do a bit of shopping. Because we went yesterday, but we didn't get much. Um, I got like a fucking, I just got like a jacket, but that was it. I think it was just too crowded or something. I was like, oh, can't really shop till I drop. But I don't know whether to wax my hair back or not. You know those, like, the London vibe everyone does? Sure, we'll see what time I get out anyway. Bye! I decided to go with this hair and I look like a fucking egg. Just finished our joint juice. The vibes are immaculate. I look like a fucking egg. Got an Oyster card fucking a day later. I spent £25 just really fucking tubes then I spent 15 pounds this was a fiber and I had to get I had to um put the general on it. I tried to take four easy over the wooden marking. Today. Oh god. Um I haven't really recorded much today, but um recently my eyes just going to the screen, so if you can say the word I can record it for show. Um we went to see Mom Mia. It was fucking brilliant. The best thing like see when they started singing and all the first going, like the tears started coming down my face. It was just one of those moments in life. Um my hair is increasing there's wax in it. I'm trying to run to those London girls that just don't see the button. <laughs> but and then me and Colm just cycled home, which was so nice. Like the sun not was setting, so it was like it was just one of those immaculate vibe things. And now we're going for drinks. I can't believe I get changed. I brought like night outfits and all that. Fuck me, CBA. But basically, um, today's Monday, and me and Colm were meant to go home, but we booked an extra day to stay. So it's resulted. It's resulted in me having no clothes. So I'm wearing literally a. Gym set from Primark. <laughs> but me and Carl and I are just oh I need to go and open those blinds. Um we're gonna go get a baguette because there's like this like wee French bakery thing down here and you can get like baguettes and stuff from croissants so it's fucking great. Also just to top my morning off, I got a fucking ABBA ticket. I'm coming here next fucking May. I can't wait. I'm actually gonna cry my eyes out. I woke up this morning, my friend Egan was just like, Are we getting these or not? And I was like Hell yeah, motherfucker. Hell yeah. So, this is the London fit today. She's fucking shit. And I'm raging, but we move. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Let's go. 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 Just back from um, Oxford Street, and I'm just gonna give you a haul. I'm gonna give you a haul before I go because um, this is my last night here, and I'm basically just getting ready, and then I'm going home. Well, I'm gonna come tomorrow, like, but we'll not be doing much in between then. So I'm gonna give you a wee haul, try on haul. No, we, we just don't have the time for it. So in Zara, I got this jumper. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, isn't she beautiful? 20, 28 pounds was she? Yeah, I seen, right, so it's actually a funny story. So when when I went to the Zara in Belfast, um, this there was this jumper and like I seen the girl holding it. I was like where, like, where did she find that in the shop? And she's like, was over there, I got the last one. So like I stalked her around the shop, like hoping she would put it down and she didn't. And then I went to order online and like actually completely forgot about it. And then I was in Zara and she was there so it was really meant to be and then the next thing i got which i actually don't even know why i got them but i got these brown trousers i thought they would be like that mm, i don't know but they look pretty see there was pink in them but like i'm sick of wearing pink like for someone who never wears pink it's all i've fucking seen me wearing these days and then I went to Stradivarius and I got the cream gillet, the leather one. I was going to get black and then we were beside me and she was trying on and she had the cream on and I was like, you know what, cream, the cream is what I want. Let's see, so I, get, I got a small because I tried a medium on because I wanted it to be like quite oversized. So I can wear it with like jumpers and stuff, but it is oversized as it is. My hair really, really badly needs cut, like it's... It's actually fried. It is fried. And then um, I just went to Primark and got socks. And then, oh, listen to the story. So well, I got cycling shorts too, but just because it was my last day and this might be my airport. If I get home, so I have to wear this just to wear the jumper. Um, so I got this because, you know, like it's like a wee toilet, like top. Toiletry? It's like a wee to toiletry? It's like a wee toiletry thing, but I don't have one of these and like everyone their granny has one for when they're going away and I never fucking do. I literally have this small thing from Victoria's Secret that that's about seven years old. It was probably the first thing I bought in Victoria's Secret when I was about ten. I went up to get this and you know like the wee thing with a scan? The one like there there wasn't one on the one that I picked. And she's like, right, I'm gonna go down and check um and get the price. I was like, it's four pound and then she went down and check and come up and she was like, This is the last one, like you've got the last one and it's six pound. I was like it's not. I was down to the stairs. She's acting like there's about 50 of them sitting there. No, no, no. You got the last one. Hit me. I don't want it. Hit me. I don't want it. Just, it was the stubbornness for me. I was actually so stubborn. But I knew in my head that it wasn't six pound. It was four pound. I know it's only two pound difference, but it was, it, it was the point. I said it was the last one. It wasn't so I can get back down the stairs. I went down the stairs. Fucking 50 of them just sitting there. And it was four pound. So I went somewhere else and got it. Like another till. Um, but yeah, Colin went to M&S World of M&S, M&M's World and bought a fucking, he's, he's already seen it, but it's my head the way, but yeah, that's the end of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, um, and coming back here in London, it, when am I back? When am I back again? Like, I live here. I'm coming back at, like, the end of November, and then I'm back again, um, at May for ABBA, so... I basically live here now, like, Flossie, Olivia, hit me up, where are you, Lewis, that's great, basically fucking live here, um, yeah, but it's been actually mad that we've been here for five days tomorrow, I think we were only meant to be here for four, no three, mm -hmm. but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it anyway, that's my YouTube comeback, you will probably not see me for about a fucking year, but anyway, See you, want to see you, well, not say see you next week because I'm a lion bastard. But I need video ideas because I don't know, I feel bad when I do YouTube. It's me off, right? Okay, bye.